Okay, morning everybody. Here we are for our year five and six morning. Friday Feedback Show. Morning, hope everyone's all right. Um, so we haven't done it for a couple of weeks, so who should we start with today? Should we start with English? Miss Stray, do you want to be some writing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, over to you. Put her on the spot now, Miss Large. Sorry, um, I did. <laughs> 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 right, so I am going to share some, let me get it up. Oh. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Origami flappy bird. This is exactly the sort of instructions that I need. Is that big enough? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is Yeah, good. so um, after the last Friday feedback, I got loads more instructions sent in to me. So I'm going to show you some of the instructions. And then I've had a couple of non-chronological reports as well. So I'm going to show some of the amazing non-chronological reports I've had. Um, so this is Anuka in Cyprus class. So he is a origami master. Like, it's really <laughs> good. If you've ever seen any of his origami, he knows what he's doing. Um, so he's given instructions to make an origami flappy bird. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you. These are about four pages long. He's going to picture wow. for each step to make it really straightforward, um, which I thought was just really clever, like really thinking yeah. what does the reader need in order to make these. Um, Pictures are always That's useful. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. Really engaging, really clear um and just really really well done and put together so an excellent piece of work from Anuka yeah that's um, amazing the second one I'm going to show you how to make magical heavenly cupcakes and I really wanted to make these after I'd finished reading them um so <laughs> this is Fazila in Cyprus um so you can just see from that introduction the amount of information and detail that she's written in um, so I just wanted to read a little bit of the opening for you to give you a bit of a flavour for these heavenly cupcakes so we've got in this beautiful chaos we are facing today in our homes we all have time to dwell in some heavenly <laughs> cupcakes oh Do you wish to have some fun this recipe is very therapeutic therefore it will distract you from the situation we are facing today so it sounds that like is exactly such a lovely what we start. Need. <laughs> yeah, the um, sophisticated vocabulary and just the way she's made you like really think these cupcakes are amazing. I need to to make them. She uses um, one of my favourite adjectives as well. She's got scrumptious in there. I love scrumptious. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, good one. I used to used to like a chitty chitty bang bang when I was a kid, and they uh, they have a song in that that uses scrumptious a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Um, so she's written really long method there and then so she's got the ingredients and the method that you need for the cakes and then she's also put on ingredients and a method for the frosting as well oh, um, nice. yeah so just for a year five piece of writing I was absolutely blown that's away incredible yeah yeah um, yeah forget she's year five that's amazing for year five yeah um and these were another one um so really nice handwritten to make a delicious casserole and this student also sent me a picture of the casserole that he'd made at home that's what you need he promised that when we're back at school he's going to bring me in that casserole so, <laughs> oh, that's, that's casserole. nice isn't it um so i've got one more set of instructions so these are um hmm. from huh. cypress class as well um and it's how to solve a rubik's cube oh this is um, brilliant so you can tell from these that this student has um solved rubik's cubes many times they are a master at this first of <laughs> all i'm just going to scan down to show you because can anyone here solve a rubik's cube I've, no, I've, I've managed to get two sides that's my that's my record yeah, so I two faces, one. that's it. So it, I'm still waiting for it to come. So I'm going to follow <laughs> these instructions. But obviously, like, <laughs> it is, it's, it's known as being a really difficult thing, isn't it? Oh, huge. Um, yeah. So if you've got instructions for it, 
you need a lot of instructions. They've drawn pictures for every single <gasps> step. Um, wow. And yeah, just oh, the amount of time. You can tell that this child oh, wow. really got into this project. It's 10 <clears> pages <throat> long, um, but it's incredible. Another, um, another thing and it goes worth... through to the end another until thing is, um, you've got it, where they've yeah. done just it all in pictures. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? And it's well worth saying that, because I, I was chatting to this child via email as well, and um, they were really worried, weren't they, that they were doing this and it wasn't an exact one of the homeworks that we'd sent out and that they were maybe mm. wasting their time. And it, it's not at all, because as long as they're doing something, like it's still instructions, it's still something yeah. they're yeah. really engaged And I really with. loved that um, in school, sometimes we're just so limited by the time we have in, in class. And this wouldn't have actually been able to be achieved at, at school. So it made me feel like quite positive in what's been a really difficult time that actually children are able to just spend the time that they want and do things in their own way. Um, yeah. Yeah, so and you can see they've really thought about putting the reader at ease, making them feel like, come on, this is achievable, um, and explaining, not just taking for granted that they would know the terminology that they're using. They've really explained that. So very cleverly written. Um, yeah, really impressive. Really good. Really, really good. I'm impressed. And I've had two um, non-chronological reports. I've had a few more, but I'll show some more non non-crons next time we meet. Um, but I just wanted to show you this one, which is <laughs> Benjamin in large class. Um, can I scroll up on there? Oh, it's just here. So it is oh, the wonderful go. wild water park. Um, now, 10 year olds computer skills are actually <laughs> blowing my mind a little bit <laughs> so you can see just how well it's presented with wow. all the pictures oh, oh, oh it looks amazing i now. want to be there <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um and i really loved benjamin's tone in this i wrote and said to him you've written in a really informative way but it's so engaging it could just be in a magazine like a holiday magazine and someone would read mm. it and be like right come on everyone we're off to this water park let's go um Absolutely. so you can see that in here they've got you, you can even swim with sharks when you swim in the swimming pool there is a glass tunnel through the pool where sharks and other amazing sea creatures swim through you can even stay in a five-star <laughs> hotel this hotel has indoor and outdoor swimming pools blooms which are the tallest in the world hot tubs and you can use the spa now oh. that is a really long <laughs> sentence yeah but they've punctuated it perfectly use yeah. the conjunctions all in the right place yeah. it all flows and i want to go there um, <laughs> i do i want to be there now please <laughs> in this heat so, yeah, amazing it was great yeah. um i wanted to give the children something where they could just use their imagination and immerse themselves in like an imaginary world and um, this is a really great example of that um, and one last one I'll just show you quickly Animals of Australia and um, this is another year five student who's done some amazing work this was actually their second um, non-chronological no. report um, <laughs> and again the layout the amount of detail um, because they're writing the about animals, they've used some really um, scientific <laughs> vocabulary. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Fauna of Beautiful. Australia, amazing. Ah, oh, really good. Oh, that's me back you off. Right, thank you, Astray. <laughs> okay, um, who sh shall I do maths next? Shall go I on, go then. up next? Do the yeah. maths? Yeah. Come on, then I shall share my screen. So I. Uh, have got, wait a minute, um, hold on, I'm not going to do the whole side, I don't like this, so I've tried to put some bits together where, um, to start with, before half term, before when was this from? This was a couple of weeks ago. Before so Easter, wasn't this. it, nearly? Before Easter, yeah. yes, that was it, before Easter. So we were doing, we had like a bit of time to do a bit of a project rather than doing the white rose, we had a bit of a break, 
and I sort of did a rainbow project linked a little bit to Miss Wise's art thing. And the idea was that they had to go around and do a tally chart of things that were different colours in their house. It was really interesting because I could really see who liked what colours in their house. Some were really obvious, like I like green, everything was green. And so this, but I loved this because this person actually sent me a photo of all the stuff that they counted. They collected Aww. it first and then I did an example and I'd only got a few and some people did loads, you know, into the hundreds of counting. <laughs> and I had so many different charts. I've just put them all on one slide. Oh, oh wow. wow. Sorry, hold on, hold on. Here we go. So absolutely awesome. amazing that what I loved, uh, this, this is just a selection because I have had more. Mm. So there were some which had done line graphs, some did bar charts. And actually, you know, some people were saying I haven't got a ruler, but they just had a go. Some people had a go at doing it on a, um, a computer. Yeah, that pie chart, that whole... amazing. The pie yeah. chart is amazing. <laughs> and actually, that was more, I'd set that more of a challenge for the year sixes, because obviously yeah. they had to calculate all the angles. That yeah, they measuring angles. Mm. Yeah, and I was really surprised how many people calculated the angles. And I did a bit of a thing to show them if they hadn't got a protractor, how they could maybe use a right angle and estimate and take their own one a little bit. Yeah. And some people, I think, had a go at that because they hadn't got oh, the wow. which was brilliant. Oh, and then I'd done stunning. some questions. They're really good, aren't they? And sorry, I've gone forward. <laughs> I'd set some questions as well to kind of get them thinking about the, you know, what they'd found, the data, and whether they could work out percentages. And they were just brilliant. You can sort, I think our pictures are in the way. I'm just going to move us down. Oh, I've done it again. Hmm fingers are too hot there we go so down at the top here you can see that or they've answered the questions and they've had a go at the challenge of sort of saying what fraction of amount what percentage of amount they found which was absolutely lovely so yeah. I just loved that and they people put so much time into it and I think enjoyed the break from white rose you know just a bit of a yeah. change really yeah it's nice to do then, something different yeah do something a bit different this was another thing that I had so many lovely comments that they really enjoyed it's like a code breaker so it was like using their uh, fluency skills, like addition, division, you know, the four basic rules. And then they had, they were given, it gave them a letter and then they had to unscramble it for a singer, which was Lady Gaga. Oh, and I had yes, loads of people yeah. writing saying, I love this, Mrs. Large, can we have some more? <laughs> so I need to try and of those because they were quite, they, they were enjoyed. So that was just examples of those. This, I just loved this. I had to put this little comment because on, this is kind of last week where, it was kind of practicing our times tables again because I was hope you know keep people busy yes, with that. Yeah. And it was actually something it's called Club Ninety Nine where you do like you have to do so many questions in five minutes. So I sent sent out seventy seven and you meant to answer seventy seven questions in five minutes. And actually, once you get to seventy seven, it's all division. Um, and some people could do it straight away, so I set them a different, like, different challenge. Others were like, oh, I haven't quite. But I loved this comment that I got sent. So I put it on. So the High Miss Lodge on Monday, I couldn't finish it, but I was very close. But on my, Wednesday, I managed to do them all in four minutes, 45 seconds. And I Perfect. thought, yes, that shows perseverance. The more you yeah. do it, the yeah. you do it, which was lovely. Um, and then this, I loved this. <laughs> these two people yeah. had got, I think all of us have seen these, because they finished <laughs> their math. Yeah. And so they were sent off on a maths challenge to bake some cakes. So I just had to put a picture on because every time I look at them, I think they look amazing. Yeah, yeah and there it. is so much maths in baking, <coughs> measuring, estimating. Yeah. yeah. Measuring, yeah. converting units, all those things that you'll be doing. So any sort the of right amount is... of time to leave it in the oven. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Working out so you're a bit, you're a... Miss Trace you get. I was going to say, you're a bit of a cook, Mr Evans. What are you, what are you thinking for those? Yeah, I'd give them a, a an easy ten out of ten. Much, uh, I'm uh, I have have yet to perfect uh, cakes at the moment. So uh, this is uh, this is absolutely amazing, and, yeah. and I think the timing is, is uh, what you guys mentioned was is the hardest part because uh, if you leave it in too long, it just burn, and if you leave it yeah. in too uh too short it's uh it's not very tasty so you, it's like a certain time that you have to have it and it's got to be exact yeah. so absolutely yeah very precise yeah, love it yeah gorgeous make me hungry already mm, and definitely. then this is just a bit of the recent work that we've been doing so we're sort of on different things now so year six is our going mm. back to white rose and they've been doing some quite complicated fraction work 
so um, much. which you can see on the left. Yeah, and some of it, like the way that some of them now are sort of converting between mixed numbers and you know into improper fractions is just brilliant. So that's on the left hand side, and the year fives now they're going back into their power maths books, which again, lots of people have been emailing and saying they're really pleased to see those again. So yeah. they're watching their videos, and you can see some people have managed to print out. The, the things but I loved the fact that they were doing all the working out around the side um, and then others have been actually really taking the time to draw out everything if they haven't got a printer and you know filling everything in mm. um, so yeah that's, I like the that's arrows it. yeah really good yes we were sort of looking at that we did because I've been doing a PowerPoint going back to looking at the discover and the share and all the you know the things that oh, we're wow. doing back in class with power maths so it's, yeah, really, really good. I could just keep going. I've had so much lovely mm. work, but mm -hmm. I'm going yeah. to stop because otherwise, let me get back to my screen share. Well, place value yeah. is really, really hard to grasp. Um, yeah. And it's really nice that they're, they're doing it. And especially when it's to do with division and multiplication, it's knowing where where it goes. So the arrows yeah. are really, really helpful yeah, um, to visualize it. So it's really, yeah. and it, I like yeah. how they've done it step by step as well, which is really excellent. Yeah, really good. So yeah, brilliant maths, everybody. Keep it up. Very much. Okay, so, so who shall we have next? Mr. Evans, do you want to do some theme? Yeah, sounds good to me. So um, I think I can do this straight away. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I've just done a whiteboard. <laughs> uh, That's good. Uh, it was a lesson, well, Mr. Evans. I, say, what, I could what actually do a lesson on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting good at this now. So, um, just got, I've got some nice theme work. So, uh, we had VE Day. So, I set, um, a, it was a good few weeks ago, I set people to do a poster on VE Day. Um, and I received some wonderful posters. Um, so I received one which was kind of like a non-chronological report. Um, oh, what have I done? Uh -oh. Right. Just share my screen. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> um, so uh, as you can see, I've got one poster. Oh, where wow. It's got loads of pictures uh, and uh, it's very, very informative. I really like the, the snippets, the um, newspaper snippets that they've got from yeah, the day. Amazing. Yeah, it looks great. That is beautiful with all the flags. It looks so effective. Yeah, yeah. really, really, really cool. Um, I love the layout of the, uh, the word. Um, it's laid out like a non-chronological report. Really, really interesting. Very, very informative. Mm. Lots of rhetorical questions. Um, and then they follow up by answering those uh, those questions, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, just really, really good. I love the uh, I love the Winston Churchill in the corner. Yeah, here. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It could be straight out of a history magazine. Oh, yeah, easily, amazing, yeah. easily. I love the fact they've done like different fonts with their writing as well. Even when it's handwritten, there's different fonts within their handwriting. Yeah, that it's, looks really effective. Mm. Excellent. And um, yeah, just really, really, I love the bunting as well. That's really, really cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very, very nice. Um, and then, uh, so we've got some more V-Day. If I can, oh, I've, what am I doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me back. do it, try it one more time. You'll get PowerPoint. There. It's you... screen. I just share the screen, don't I? Yeah, if you just, just share the screen, and you should be able that. to flip through your PowerPoint as normal. Yeah. Yes, right. There we so, go. Um, got another. Uh, someone sent me uh. in photos of what they did during the day with their family, um, and so they. Oh, uh, how lovely! It just mm. looks amazing. It looks like they've had a really lovely day. They've done lots of baking. So, um, they've created bunting and they've coloured it in, um, and. Yeah, I was really, really happy to see some of these photos and oh, yum. honestly made me really hungry as well. Lots of baking uh, that's happening yeah. at the moment, really making me jealous. Oh, that I wish I could have eaten all this food. Oh, that Wonderful. looks like a proper party, doesn't it? Proper, really does. proper party. Oh, I love the um, red, white and blue cakes. They look brilliant. So the, in their PowerPoint, they did a PowerPoint presentation and they said they've cho they chose foods that were made um, in the 1940s. 
Um, so they've got uh, they've got like freshly squeezed lemonade. I was going to say well. I saw the fresh lemonade. That was looking really good to me. I love a fresh lemonade on a yeah. hot day. <laughs> yeah. So so they took recipes from the 1940s um, and um, and and did it on V Day, which was absolutely excellent. Now the same person uh, interviewed um, their great grandparents oh, and wow. said, "You remember V Day?" Um, and They've just laid it out amazingly. They've asked nine questions, which were just perfect. Um, and it really reminded me of, of my grandparents because my grandparents were alive around that time and I've spoken to them about it. And um, it said, uh, number, question number two was, granddad uh, was evacuated with his three siblings. And I remember my granddad being evacuated uh, and uh, it looks like they were, uh, I'm speaking to this person and they said they were evacuated in, around the same area as well, which was really interesting. Um, but just seeing how they could remember what, what actually, you know, what was VE Day like? Um, and they said, I remember it was very noisy, lots of parties. Uh, the fireworks scared me because of the bombs. So I'm assuming that, um, uh, that his granddad used to live in London. So I'm assuming that he probably heard a lot of the bombs going on mm. around that time. So he associated loud noises with bombs, but it was actually fireworks. So that's what made him, made him a little bit scared. And then, uh, so do you have any memories to share? And the memories to share was, uh, uh, I remember um, riding a bike um, because he wasn't allowed to in the city. So he went to the West Country and he was allowed to ride a bike, which I thought oh, was really, really amazing. lovely. So, that's, um, so that's I, I did this. Such good questions as well. Yeah, oh, really just, good. Excellent. So I asked similar questions to my grandparents. I, I managed to speak to them over FaceTime and, and my granddad remembered uh, lots of bonfires um, on V Day, and remember lots of street parties that lasted all through the night. So he said he mm -hmm. was really, really, really excited. Uh, excited. Um, and so we got some more V Day posters. Um, oh, I love oh fab! Like the other posters, excellent, um, very informative, uh, very colourful, um, and. I, you know, I've left there. Uh, I haven't directed how their creativity should be displayed. Mm. So they've 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 done this all themselves. I've just said, create a poster. You decide how you lay it out. Um, and I love having them show me how, what wonderful artists they are and how yeah, creative they can be. Um, really now nice. we've got some awesome artwork. I've only got one more slide, but I've got loads of little different artwork. So Miss Kendall mm -hmm. has been doing. Um, uh, different artwork challenges each each week, and also Mrs. Uh, Miss Wise has been doing some artwork where uh, you're kind of making a collage because it's all uh, blue or green or or, or or whatever it is. Um, so, got some artwork. This is a if you have a little look at the splats, they all look very good and they look like they followed oh, the wow. instructions very yeah. carefully. Just looks wonderful. It looks, uh, it's really, really exciting. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. <laughs> it's just, yeah. So it looks as though they've had a lot of fun doing these, uh, these pictures. Um, and uh, yeah, e absolutely excellent. Um, the, I've had uh, some theme work that's been sent in about uh, the recent project about amazing places, but I'm going to save that for next time. Um, yeah. because I'm waiting just for a few more because we still was they're still doing it so I'm waiting yeah. for a few more but very looking forward to in a few weeks time sh sharing those places and uh, getting each of us excited yeah. about uh, being able to travel again which yeah, is uh, definitely I know oh, I think yeah. we're all, all yeah, yeah. itching to to do that but um yeah so that's that's theme and um, they've done Thanks, absolutely wonderful oh, yeah. I'm uh, amazing stuff. just so, so nice impressed that's yeah. fantastic. Great. Thanks, Mr. Evans. Right, so it's over now to Mr. Hall yes, for indeed. our reading. Over so, to you. Um, I've got a couple of bits to share with you for reading. And I'll start with, so this was work from about two weeks ago and they were starting to work on some of their inference skills. We looked at, I sent out this picture and they had to try and use inference skills to work out and tell me anything that they could about this picture. So we started by them telling me using literal retrieval. So I got lots of things like there's a lady in a black coat wearing a red scarf, walking a dog with a red collar in a forest. So all the stuff that you just know because it's there and you can see it straight away. 
but then we started thinking about the inference of why mm. she might be there, what her story might be, why she's rubbing her hand on the tree, what the heart might be to do with stuff like that, having to dig deeper and find the information that isn't just provided to you. And I had some really interesting bits. So I had this from Fazila in Cyprus. Um, I particularly liked that last bit. She's gently Aww. reaching for it and suddenly oh. the memory of her loved one came back. So we don't know that. We're not told that in that picture. No. But that right. is exactly what inference is. And I can completely see why Fazila has thought that. So that's inference in practice. Mm. It doesn't always have to just be from a text. And actually, we use inference skills all the time. I, I use inference skills when I see my family, to, even if I've not seen them for a few weeks, I can look at them. And because I know their quirks and their characteristics, I can work out if they're happy or if they're sad. And we all do it without knowing. Um, I also had this one as well from another student. And again, a bit more slightly sadder this time, but there's nothing wrong with that. So this is from a, a young man oh. in art class. But the idea that she was maybe touching the heart on the branch because it was carved there by her and her husband and her husband has sadly passed away. And as she's, going, oh. as she's going on this walk, she may be remembering her husband. Obviously that's very sad, but again, there's plenty of like, there's thought behind that. And that's exactly yeah, what, lovely we want, thoughts. what we want from our inference. So that was, yeah. And one. it's interesting that they've um, both inferred kind of sadness from that picture. Yeah. And you sort of mm. get that feeling from the, the colors used. Yeah. It's a bit bleak. It could be very it? happy, like a happy, picture couldn't it but yeah. the, the blacks and the reds do suggest that sadness yeah and a lot of people picked up on despite the fact there's no movement in that picture you just see a hand a lot of people use the word delicate about the way she was touching the the tree and that idea of the delicacy of it makes it seem quite fragile and so I think a lot of people did go down yeah. the route of it being someone that's lost mm. or left or so yeah mm. a lot of people did get that from the picture so it was quite an interesting little task we did that yeah, Did anyone um, talk about like the weather, whether it um, might be misty or because we, she's wearing a coat? Or... We ha yeah, we had a lot of people talking about it being winter and one person mm. did mention the idea that potentially it was carved there. That was a carving they made at Christmas one time and no long they're no longer together wow. and it's now Christmas oh. again. And yeah, yeah there were, a lot, a lot of pe a lot of people went. Were it really quite sort of quite sad? There was there could be some great <laughs> songs written based on that picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe then, yeah. We then had a quite an interesting one where this is from Daria, and yep. we were looking at combining, looking at three books that we knew well and finding things mm. that all these books had in common. So we could start thinking about authors' choices when they wrote and how they geared a text for their audience. And one thing that a lot of, pretty much everybody, no matter what book they chose, seemed to find that children's books very often have a child protagonist and mm. an adult antagonist. So this idea of almost like a battle going on in children's mm. literature where the children are the heroes and the adults are the bad guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and we really did. We found Babies. that out. So, and, and I kind of gave them free reign to display this however they wanted, but I did model it on a three-way Venn diagram, um, which some did choose to do. Some chose to go their own route and there were some interesting mm. ways of doing it as well. But I just thought this one was a really beautiful way. Yeah, really. Uh, it's very it clear, out. isn't it? Yeah, it mm. makes it very obvious. And it was just um, a nice activity. I think a lot of people hadn't really thought before about the similarities in all the books they were reading. And then when mm. you stop and look at them and start, looking out for them you start realizing how many there are mm. um, oh i was just just thinking about about the stories and uh, uh i'm missing having the discussions with the children when we're reading a, a chapter and I just this privilege. bringing back all these memories <laughs> um and just having having their thoughts on on what what we've just read and it's yeah. it's like they're oh, it's, yeah definitely missing that at the moment absolutely <laughs> so then we culminated with doing a book review so we looked at all these different things and we looked at books in relation to one another and stuff like that and we had some really really lovely book reviews sent through so this is a book review a book review by Rayan um, and I particularly like uh, this section here because 
the idea of recommending a book not just based on I think this book would be liked by people who are nine to eleven, but the idea yeah. of it being mm. someone who likes animals and um, someone who has a good sense of humour. The fact it's a pure thriller book, I would have never <laughs> <thought> to describe <laughs> to describe yeah. Fantastic Mix of Fox as a pure thriller. <laughs> Um, but I really, really liked that bit. I thought that was fantastic. That's um, great. And I've had loads yeah, and loads really of good lovely. book reviews. And actually, they only had to finish them yesterday. So I will get no doubt I'll get several more today as well. This is Daria again. Oh, I just had, just had wow. to show you that one quite quickly just because it was so, I mean, it's, it's stunning. Isn't it? It's just so much going Beautiful. on. <laughs> um, I love all the five stars that they've been sticking on the top to give yeah. their rating as well. That looks yeah. really effective. Yeah, I don't Did know anyone where... review any books where they were like, oh, it's terrible? No, I think, I think <laughs> everybody decided to choose a book that they really liked. Maybe we'll have to do that another day, learning about how to be tactful in your review, even if you don't like <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. Not, not just absolutely sledging it. Um, <laughs> yeah but I, Daria whenever Daria does any piece of work I'm always astounded by she must have a ridiculous stationary cupboard in her yeah. house because yeah, she, yeah. she makes everything so beautiful and there's stickers and there's highlighting and there's it's phenomenal stuff. it's amazing and then I've just got two more that I'd like to share with you quickly because we're uh, we're ticking down the time again ticking down on time Mr Holmes as we have a tendency to do so I've, do, got, yeah. I've got two book reviews again here. This is from a young man in Cyprus class um, and he has reviewed Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And again, it's just so beautifully wow. laid out, really clearly mm. set up. Um, they can, the thing I, maybe this is a little bit egotistical. The thing I really like about this is I can see my model really clearly in this so it shows me that those videos i've gone to the trouble of making are being used um, because exactly um even to the point even to the point where i you i used that scroll in my model yeah mm. i had my first text box just there was a blue outline around the outside so i can see they've not just like cursory glanced at my video they've really watched it and used that to help yeah that's them, lovely which is exactly what i want that's why they're there and then this one is by Benjamin in uh, large class, in my class. He's uh, done a review of The Demon Dentist. And again, I can see all those things that I tried to put in. They've included everything I told them they needed to include. And mm. it's just made me want to really, really get out there and do some reading. Um, I've, got, I've had so many good books that I've not read that, that people mm. have reviewed or spoken about. And it's yeah, made me go, oh, I want true, to yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's amazing. Great. Oh wow! Yeah, I remember, okay, with, um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I remember, remember with those work, children. Really. Uh, those children always have an up-to-date uh, reading diary yeah. as well. So, and that, and that's really it's it really shows that they yeah. keep their reading diary up to date because when it when writing a review, they they present it amazingly. So yeah, absolutely, yeah. Very, very good. Really good. Well, I think we've got like a minute remaining, haven't we, of our we thing? Have. So, so that's another uh, brilliant to the end to our Friday, Friday feedback show. show. Yeah. Have a great half yeah. term, everyone. And yeah, uh, have we'll a great half term and enjoy the sun. Stay to safe. Half term of work. Yeah. It's different yeah. work, but work all the same. Definitely. Enjoy a break, and we'll nice see you. Nice to see you all again. Bye. 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 Bye.